Hi guys, it's Kaychak and we have some exciting news from the 9.2.5 PTR data mining and it looks like the Brutosaur is finally going to be coming back into the game but a new and improved version which I can't wait to get my hands on. So it has wings and the data mining and the model suggest that this guy is going to be a flying auction house mount. I'm sure some Brutosaur owners are going to be quite mad at this but I had my fun with my long boy over the last couple of years and it'd be great if other people can do the same now. Looking at the model, I think it could still be a work in progress. At the moment, it looks like someone has just gone onto Wow Model Viewer and thrown the first wings they could find from Google Images onto the Brutosaur mount. That being said, besides the colours on the wings perhaps being a little bit off, the overall detail looks quite good. Because it's only data mining, we don't have any animations or anything like that yet, so that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, it'll have a unique, special animation. The gold-making community always thought if they ever put a mount like this back into the game, then it would go for gold cap for sure, and this is exactly what we got. But you don't need to waste your gold, and you can't bypass all this with pay-to-win wild tokens, because the 9,999,999 you need is not gold, but soul ash from Torgas. This means you know whoever has this mount has really earned it themselves. So 10 million soul ash sounds crazy, but this is an insane mount and the auction house on the mount just works so well it saves you so much time and the flying on top of that is just going to be great. From my maths, if we assume that the next WoW expansion comes out this time next year, you would only have to do 12 soul gas runs a day at layer 12 to get this mount at the start of the next expansion. I mean, as a community, we do complain that there is nothing to do in WoW a lot of the time. So this is going to be one of those things that's always there, that you can always chip away at whenever you feel like you haven't spent enough time in Torghast. Even long after Shadowlands is gone, you could well be in a situation where you have hundreds of hours of Torghast sat waiting for you. The mount needing Soul Ash is just early data mining, could well change, so it's not worth farming it up yet. As much as I do want to start getting on with the grind, I'll wait until it's properly on the PTR at least. Anyway, this all looks great, really looking forward to it, but mostly I'm looking forward to the next expansion even more. So what do you guys think? So today is Friday the 1st of April 2022. When do we think the next WoW expansion will be releasing? Thanks for watching guys.